Hey friends, here we are at the beginning of our first full week of June. Yes, first full week. Um, the energy is kind of different today, eh? Like it's, it's interesting. Like it just, it, this morning it just kind of felt like just, that we were just in an energy bubble and we were just here. It was interesting. It was slower, it was, and I wasn't the only one feeling it this morning, which I thought was interesting. So the collective is feeling this. Um, I'm going to smudge my cards and the deck that I'm using this morning is Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light, which is one of my favorite decks. So I'm just gonna smudge the energy out of it. I did use it the other day. And I intuitively selected some oils. So if there's um, a diffuser blend that you would like to try this week, I would highly recommend this one. So we've got, I mean, it's in order. Cedarwood was the first one I picked, which is the oil of community. Makes total sense. Adaptive, which is the oil of adaptability. Also makes sense. Um, Aroma Touch. I think it's relaxation. I should know because I just looked at this the other day. I'm pretty sure it's relaxation. Yes, Aroma Touch is the oil of relaxation. It is great if you have. So we went side by siding a lot on the weekend, um, and. Not feeling super sore, but just a little, a little sore. And where I hold it typically anytime is in my shoulders and my neck. So I like using Aroma Touch on that. The other one is Frankincense, which is the oil of truth. Geranium, which is love and trust. And Green Mandarin, which is pure potential. So that's the blend, which I'm going to be putting in the diffuser in our main living space and then I'm going to put this in our three diffusers for bedtime as well. So let's see what the message is for the collective this week. I feel like there's going to be even more shifts. Coming to light, finding your own deep truth and happiness. That's the most important. Yeah. Interesting. No. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. So I'm going to pull the book out. Don't rush into, yeah, I'm hearing, don't rush into something. So you may think that you need to rush into something or you may think that you need to do something, but no, no, you want to wait, you want to postpone, you want to pause. So that does, that makes sense to me because sometimes we're traveling through life and we just think this is the way it needs to be done and it has to be done this way. This is the only way it can be done. And sometimes there's more information that we need to take in before we can make a decision. So yeah, that makes total sense. 26 one of the first ones you're being called to either pause or say no saying yes is to something that isn't in alignment with you will drain your energy and your time hold out for congruent aligned 100 yes often when we are looking for guidance to make a decision it can be frustrating not to move and clear into clear and considered action however timing is everything and not receiving clear guidance is actually guidance in itself we all go through times known as waiting periods. These times are crucial for our body to regenerate, the new path to formulate, and the universe to begin creating things on our behalf. You don't need to be plowing forward all of the time to move forward. I have felt that because for a lot of times I was in masculine energy and just doing, 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 doing. And I honestly think, like I think back to when we were trying to start a family and, you know, when you get... When you get news about your own health, your own body, that you don't want to hear and you don't want to believe, it's easy to just get into doing. 
I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this to keep myself busy. When in truth, what I really needed to do back then was to just be in the moment and allow myself to feel, allow myself to be angry, allow myself to be sad, allow myself to be pissed off, whatever it is. Because when we ignore that and just keep moving along and just keep doing, that's where we get blockages. And that's where the energy just packs down, packs down, packs down into our lower chakras, which creates huge blockages and then huge physical health issues along with the mental health issues as well. So it all makes sense to me. The waiting is actually very productive. Um, Hold on. A potent congruent yes, when the time is right, will put you ahead leaps and bounds. So that's when someone says you're quantum leaping, that's essentially timeline shifting. Instead of forcing something, it naturally happens. And that's what's considered, you know, quantum leaping or time shifting. Um, what's the other saying that's good for that? It's not coming to me. Anyway, it's, that's essentially what that means. Um, don't force things now just because it seems like the only option. Take a breather and wait. The waiting is actually very productive for when the time for movement comes, you will be ready to dive right in. Use this time to regenerate and ponder what you truly want. Consider the options. If the options are not clear, don't fear because this time is a gift. Use it to tend to your garden and take a rest. So tending to your garden is yourself. Um, to take a moment from your busy life to clear the decks and prepare for the time in the future. For come spring, clarity will bloom and you will have the reserves, the space, the drive to say yes and act and move quickly. Um, so if you want, you can pull out your journal and what does that, what does that mean for you? So right at the top, say no, comma, postpone or wait. So what maybe needs to be happening in your life right now? And it could be nothing. It could be something small. It could be something big. But what feels right to you? What feels in alignment? Like complete alignment. Where things just happen without forcing. That's the beauty and that's the magic. That's where we want to all be. We don't want to be forcing things. We just want everything to naturally flow, naturally happen. And it's just so much more abundant and clear and perfect for everyone. I think back to when we were doing our home renovations and I had plan after plan after plan. And it was, you know, well, if we did this, you know, it would probably be this much, but if we did this, you know, we could shave off some money and maybe save some money here. And in truth, we were stagnant on moving forward with our additions. We were until I had inquired and the building department said that they issued the permits and we had six months to start. And that kind of, that pulled up some resistance in me, big resistance, because for one, it was like, well, now I'm definitely not in control because now you have told me this is your timeline. And what I found was as soon as we leaned in and said, okay, this is not what we had thought was supposed to happen. We had thought we were supposed to do it the spring of 2020. And it actually then began the fall of 2019. In the big picture, God, the universe, they know what needs to happen. So even with starting our renovations years ago, um, we did our basement, replaced the flooring, and I guess that was the main, oh, moved a few walls. And then three months later, it flooded. And at the same time, we had our main floor under construction. And so most of our, most of our belongings were downstairs. So we lost a lot. But it was interesting because you can instantly get into that victim mode. And that's not where you need to be. There's power in holding on to, okay, this has happened. So now what do we do? Now, how do we flow? 